Hello and welcome to my workshop and today I wanted to show you these uh, Bigfoot pendants that I make while I've got them in all kind of three stages of their production. Now this piece I'm holding here is called the master pattern or model and that's one that I've carved by hand from a metal called pewter. And pewter's a very soft metal like lead, you can carve it, um, you can carve it like wax. And when I made this Bigfoot, I made him in pieces, his arms and legs and head separately. And I put him all together with a solder and then made a mould of the finished piece. And that's what the mould looks like. It's a bit like a brick. And then once that mould was done, you can inject wax into it and you end up with one like this, a wax copy. But I try and make the models that I make better every kind of stage of the process. So once I had this wax one, I then went over him with these things, which look a little bit like chisels. They're actually gravers and uh, you can like, smooth out all the imperfections and uh, define the details and even kind of cut the, uh, the hair into it. And then when that gets cast into silver, what happens is it's set into um, what looks like a plaster of Paris. It's actually an investment plaster. And you heat that up till the wax melts and runs away. And then when the wax has melted and run away, you can pour molten silver into the hole. And this is where you end up with a silver casting. Now again, I've gone over it with my gravers and various other tools to make it look as good as, good as the original. And the kind of black fur on it is where I've um, kind of antiqued it. What you do is you uh, use a, uh, an oxidizer to basically age the silver, and then you can polish it again, or in this case, I put a satin finish again to, uh, to make the highlights stand out. Now this one I supply on a waxed cotton cord, but if you want it on a chain, you just have to ask. I'll get a chain for you. And there you can see his big feet. As a phenomenon, Bigfoot's a very interesting thing. When you associate it with the kind of um, Sasquatch from the, uh, the Western United States, and it's quite, <laughs> it's a surprise that with so many people who've got cameras on their mobile phones or dash cams in their cars or trail cams that you can set up in the woods, there's not really been any decent photos of it. And yet, hundreds of people, probably thousands every year, report seeing things like this. And not just in America, you have a, a Yowie in Australia and a Orang Pendek in Southeast Asia. And there's one in China, which I forget the name of, and there's another one in India, but there's other places I'm sure. In fact, in England, we used to have a wild man called Woodrose who lived in the woods, I suspect. That was more likely to be some poor mentally ill people that got chased off into the forest. So there you go, Bigfoot pendant, solid sterling silver, and they are quite heavy actually, they're not hollow. Oops, there goes the wax one. And you can get them from my online shop, which is argentaqua.com, or you can just buy them off of me directly, just leave me a message. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.